Hey, thanks for coming back. Today we're going to talk about a place in Fresno that's fun, good drink, nice eats, could have live music. I want to tell you all about it, so here it comes. So here it is. What are we talking about today? Fresno Downtown Brewery District is what we're going to be talking all about today. So let me give you a little bit of background how this started. We have to be grateful to Nora, the founder of Angel Star for Fresno Downtown Brewery District. She is a courageous and innovative woman who, without her ideas, Fresno's Downtown Brewery District might not have been a reality today. Although when you ask her, her modest response would be, it takes a village. Right about now, you must be puzzled about who Nora is. Well, we'll get to know Nora later and why she's being alluded to as the brain behind Fresno Downtown Brewery District. First, have you ever been downtown to the brewery district or drank a pint of Tioga? If not, then you have been missing a lot. The downtown brewery district is one of the most fascinating places to visit in Fresno. If you're looking to experience local beer, have good meals, listen to music with others that think like you, then you definitely have to make time to go downtown Fresno. Now, back to Nora. In 2004, Nora purchased a group of buildings on Fulton Street, which were formerly used as a warehouse. At the time of the purchase, this warehouse was already dead and needed a miracle to bring this building back to life. This historic building was called Anchor Stage Depot. Built on a larger portion of 701 Fulton was a depot that had a large waiting room, barbershop, cafe, and other local businesses. So at the time this building was erected at this address, it served a great purpose. It was a touch of entertainment and provisions for travelers to the district needed at that time. Being the VP of Monaco Enterprises, which has the intention of advancing and promoting the brewery district, Nora soon made her ideas into reality. She began leasing out places on Fulton that she had bought. After leasing space to Tioga Sequoia Brewery Company, Nora and her family began expanding the newest attraction in downtown Fresno. Mike Cruz from Tioga Sequoia approached her with the idea to create a beer garden in the space they had leased for storage and offices to grow their business. Nora embraced the concept with zeal. With this creative suggestion, she gradually realized that there was a greater likelihood that if a full active brewery district could be established, it might completely change the region. But for the goal to succeed, she knew it would be best if the district was built by the tenants. Nora and her family would fail to attribute the success of the brewery district to themselves. They noted that the tenants had a combined effort with a vision of their own so the district can become life. Several other notable places have sprung up in the downtown district, yet the goal remains to keep the brewery district innovative and interesting and to add more businesses and happening places to it so it can be a go-to location for many in Fresno and for all visitors. There are still enough spaces available for lease, which Nora hopes will even add more opportunities and support to the Fresno Downtown District. The desire to have a significant influence is the core of Nora's vision for the Brewery District. She hopes that businesses will spread throughout the neighborhood and benefit everyone in the community. Enough with Nora. Let's jump into the entertaining places at the downtown brewery district. 
Let's start with the Tioga Sequoia Brewing Company. The first brewery company in downtown Fresno is Tioga Sequoia, which is located at 745 Fulton Street. Tioga offers craft beer that pays tribute to the Central Valley and Southern Sierra Nevada. Give some of their great beers a try. You could try the Half Dome California Wheat, which the wheat is grown right here in the valley, has a beautiful taste. You might also try the 99 Golden Ale. It's a great beer. Shows a lot of pride in California. They also have events going on throughout the year. Brews and Jams is a great one. You guys need to go down and check it out. You'll also usually find a food truck sitting on the parking lot. I know they've got some great tacos there if you like that. You can also sit and view out to Chichancy Park, which is right across the street. Next up is Full Circle Brewing Company. Two things stand out about Full Circle Brewery, and that is the beer and the entertainment. It's always a jolly good time at the brewery located at 712 Fulton Street in Fresno. They host numerous shows and events around the year, including live performances, open mic nights, and dance parties. They are one of the breweries that brew their beers on site. The moment you step into full circle, your soul comes alive with the neon colors and the artworks. Full circle opens throughout the week. Mondays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays from 4 to 9 p.m. Thursdays from 3 to 11. Fridays and Saturdays from 12 to 12. And on Sundays from 12 to 9. Next is the 411 Rec Room. It's located at 723 Fulton Street. It is adorned with artistic vibes as various artworks from local artists are used to beautify it. And it has a chalkboard where guests can leave messages and feedback. The Rec Room is always participating in Fresno's Art Hop, which is an exhibition event that showcases artists' works at locations across downtown Fresno and the Tower District. Next is the Modernist Craft Cocktail Bar. This bar is shaking things up with new drinks and a custom approach to a lot of the classics. Take a seat inside where the decor is just as lovely as the vibrant cocktails. Or you could decide to go outside to the patio bar and watch Fulton Street. A fun fact about the Modernist Craft Bar is that each month during the Fresno Art Hop, the bartenders also mix up non-alcoholic concoctions, but they also serve first-class cocktail menus. Now how about the South of Shaw Beer Company, located at 1755 Broadway in the old Peerless Building. It has been upgraded and redone, but still has that nostalgic feel to it. According to the owners, it was crucial to restore a sense of nostalgia to the neighborhood and the attention to detail inside and that it pays homage to the 1920s. Located on the other end of Ale Trail, South of Beer Company is well positioned in the neighborhood and has the neighborhood vibe and feel compared to the other breweries located in the warehouse district. Along with a dozen beers on tap, it also offers pizza, pickled pizza, bacon jalapeno pizza, just to name a few. Owners describe South of Shaw as more of a coffee house than a bar, with plenty of power outlets and tables for you to bring a laptop and work while enjoying a fresh IPA or crafted beer. The Fresno Downtown Brewery District is offering all the fun there is meant to be available downtown, but it looks as though it's not done yet. As you go out to have fun, you should keep in mind that Fresno Downtown District is still a work in progress. There's plenty of coming to it, plenty of work that can be done, and offers a lot for you. 
It is a market that's developing and constantly evolving. And you'll have to keep updating your schedule if you're to fully enjoy everything that you can find downtown for entertainment, drinks, food, and a good time. Thanks for sticking to the end. These are just a few of the things that are downtown. It's getting re-energized down there. A lot of businesses moving in. You got to try the brewery district. Got to go see what it offers you. Just take some time off and head on down there with your friends. I've put a, another video up here you might be interested in for you to go ahead and look at. I hope this has brought you some enjoyment. Until next time, this is Mike Bustamani with Keller Williams.